Okay, Mr. Willis, uh, you're awarded the Prince Klaus Prize today here in Amsterdam because of your architecture with, uh, with bamboo structures. Can you explain the importance of working with, uh, with bamboo uh, in your own country, in Colombia? Well, we have a bamboo forest, a bamboo culture in Colombia, but we hate that material because it has the stigma of being the wood for the poor. That kind of a work gives prestige to the material and to my work, and it has already helped to stop a law that was going to ban the use of bamboo in construction in Colombia. Because of that award, in the new building code of Colombia was included the bamboo as a building material. And why is it important to, to use bamboo uh, according to you? Well, because bamboo is as strong as steel. So any steel structure that can be built by an engineer or an architect, we can also build it out of bamboo. So it's an alternative material that is already there to be used and to have more intelligent people focus on that kind of material to improve the way to use it. And is it for you a, a way to, say, save the planet? I am not into that, but of course we have to save the planet. And bamboo is, uh, is less of a, uh, using less carbon dioxide than steel, for instance. No, bamboo only produces oxygen and only produce small money to a very poor person who grows it. Is it? It is, is the opposite of steel. Yeah. But, but the structures, the, the work that you do, hardly is with poor people. It's, it's mainly building houses for the rich, isn't it? Well, I am focused on rich people houses because poor people don't want to have a poor building material for them. Once you show the poor rich people has bamboo houses, they will agree to have a bamboo house. You will never see uh, a cement sack of cement saying cement sack of cement for the poor or cement sack of cement for the rich. It's just a building material. And that's what you try to realize for bamboo as well. But not only for bamboo, for many other alternative materials. I'm not a bamboo architect. I also work with bamboo. Yeah. One of the latest things that you've been uh, working on is the Indian uh, pavilion for the Shanghai World Expo. Can you explain briefly what you're trying to construct over there? Well, the Indian architects that are in charge of the design of that pavilion, they, built, they designed a dome, a big dome, 34 meters span. So they asked me to make it out of bamboo. So a dome doesn't need any design. A dome is already a design. But the way you build it is the design itself. Yeah. So we are already making it out of bamboo and this award also helped a lot to convince the local authorities from China and also the Indian entrepreneurs who are building the pavilion to build it out of bamboo. We were having very hard discussion to convince them to make it in bamboo, not in steel. But after this award happens, it was more easy. Yeah. Why is it that uh, Indians and Chinese who have so much bamboo growing in their countries are so hard to convince that working with bamboo is a, is a good thing? Because they have never do bamboo structures as a permanent building. They do huge scaffolding. They eat bamboo. They make fabric from bamboo. They do everything with bamboo, but never buildings. So I was the first to build a permanent structure in China four years ago, when I was part of a team making a big hotel in a national park in, near Guangzhou. If they don't have a tradition of using bamboo for permanent structures, maybe there are good reasons why they don't uh, use it. The reason is that they never discovered the way to do the joinery. Since it is a hollow material, it's not easy to find a way to do joinery. And also because they are timber culture, they have big uh, wooden forests and they are masters of working with solid wood. Like Japanese or India or China, they were never interested in bamboo because it, they think it's so weak because it is hollow. Mm -hmm. But once you fill it with cement mortar inside the hollow bamboo, you have the best joinery you can ever get. And I was the first to discover that. And it is incredible that such a simple thing had never been happening in that kind of cultures. Okay.